They see you and the first thing that crosses their mind is to check, where is she from? Question after question. The white audience addresses me on the search of that paradise. What about your parents? Where are they from? And they go, oh, no, 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 no. But you cannot be German. You don't look German. Pointing at my skin. <laughs> One is black or German. Not black and German. <clears throat> I don't think that you are black. And she said that in a way as if she was doing me a favor. Different. Different from whom? <clears throat> to decolonize knowledge and to Transform this concept of knowledge is only possible if you transform also the configurations of power, and one is related to other. And that's what we're going to do in this cosmos. Why do you write? I write to, uh, to stop myself going crazy, but I'm not sure it's working. Any single piece of word you utter, it will never be erased. It's a guard of a temple. This is uh, belong to Mesopotamia uh, period, Ashur and Babylon. The original thing, it's engraving, but I did it on textile <laughs> and embroidery. And for them, it was great expression what they meant for those who could interpret the Mesopotamia writings. It is still very difficult for marginalized groups to enter in literature and to publish. If you punish one, punish him with a, with, with a hand from Metalia, yeah, like. When the hit comes, it really hurts. A small moment of weakness follows. The pained body briefly appeals to my will, please make it stop, it's not good. During enslavement and during the colonization, African names were often forbidden. They were erased, and we could not carry them. When I recalled my name Patras or Petros, which is a Greek name, which I, it comes from Europe, and today I am in Europe, but I am not seen as a human. Is the German government violating our human rights by keeping us in the lagers. You know, it's isolated. Living for six years in such a, an environment is, first of all, the children lose um, confidence to mix with the society. This is why um, I personally got involved in this fight because I realized that I would like to change something. You leave the lager, you leave the camps where you are forced to be. You have no free of movement. What was the, the, the intention of, of this boat tour? We are an organized um, refugee group, women group, and um, we know we are the ones who can talk about ourselves better. We are the ones who can bring our problems out better. Uh, but what was uh, very impressive is that Women just move. They get the courage to do something because when somebody gives you something and you don't say anything, they assume silence means you're okay. Who's different here in this room? Am I different from you? Or you? Why didn't you simply go to the microphone and take it to say something? Listening is in the sense the act of authorization towards the speaker. So to say, as listener, you have, you give me the authorization to become the speaking subject. <laughs> At that time, I knew that the film can have some problems. I was told that I could not shoot, but I just take some part out just to have the permission and uh, after that I put, I put back again what I, I moved before because if I just continue to shoot one by one I, I will just tell to the people what they wanted me to say. I realized 
that there was not enough support given to the arts. Artists were not taken seriously in their communities. Many people mistrusted this kind of work. To make my profession more visible, I decided to give my best piece to the president of Uganda himself. In my country, if we want someone to do something, we give presents and compliments to that person. D, little d, democracy. J is for justice. Die Würde des Menschen ist unerpassbar. Sie zu achten und zu schützen ist Verpflichtung aller staatlichen Gewalt. Was ist mit den Abgeschobenen, Frau Merkel? Das sind auch Roma, die wollen hier bleiben. Das sind auch Individuen und die, für die zählt auch Artikel 1. Das war die Eröffnung des Memorial of the European Sinti and Roma yeah, hier in Berlin. Es war nicht der richtige Ort, aber ich denke, ich sehe Merkel jeden Tag. Also, es war nur eine Möglichkeit für mich, zu interrupten und zu fragen. The 2nd of August, this is the, the day of the Roma Holocaust. There was, of course, a Zigeunerlager in Auschwitz, mm -hmm. but uh, more or the half of these people was killed in the wood, on the streets, or everywhere, and the people didn't have the papers. And in tak byli zabiti a umlácení malé děti, ženy, znásilňovány. Nám komunistická vláda v roce 71 postavila velkovýkrmnu vepřů. We want a European Union who is equal for all of us, but you see uh, the Roma day they create 71 and the pig farm they create also 71. And this is built also with European money. Racism has been at the very center of European politics since 500 years, starting with the European project of slavery, the European project of colonization, and nowadays the European project of the fortress Europe. We see it now as that is really the margins that question the mm. politics of the center and transform mm. it. That maybe things I cannot um, talk openly in the streets, maybe, because you know the situation is in, 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 in Syria, uh, so I just change it to a song and sing it. I said, in, in, in corners of my city, you see some people are dealing, and the other way, the other street, if you just go over the corner, you will see someone try to kill somebody to get their cell phone or money from him and so on. So the whole country is out of control. Il faut quitter le chimpanzé. Mais le visa est assez sélectif. I wanted to make a thing about uh, abstract concept of violence. این شیرایی که آقا قاسم زحمت میکشه و هر روز صبح به شما میده من دیدم بعضی از بچه ها بعضی از دختر خانوما همون ساعت نمیخورن یا میذارن برای بعد. آقا مسئولین اینو Please eat up the salmon for lunch. Don't watch the corpse and the children with ripped out fingernails on YouTube before lunch. You don't want to lose your appetite for salmon. It took a little bit of time to find the mutual language between us. The base thing was in the body language. Dead. Objects are looked at, subjects can look. And this was really uh, politically very important already during the slavery time. It was a very clear rule for um, enslaved Africans uh, who were not supposed to be subjects and they could not look at look and raise the head and show the eyes and show that he's observing and he's looking at. And that was a very important moment. Until the 50s, it was common to lynch black people when they dared to look uh, in the eyes because this look means uh, being a subject. <laughs> Uh, 
I wanted to show that, okay, I'm visible now. I'm here just to prove yourself in a strong way also. You need to be strong in this situation. And the video start that I finish my performance and then I'm going backstage. And even when you, you go and I want to rest and the eyes are still like looking at you. So I had to cross the borders to to just start in a, in a new country where I can prove myself. So I have to present for the new country that my spirit was covered in my country, was covered in black. Because the black, it's, it's uh, the mentality of uh, our community in Middle East, maybe, and everything around us and the view of the people. <laughs> We really have to change this vision of the margins that is not that place only of loss and, and disappointment and misery. Normally, it's as, as a Palestinians, you need to be like kind of fighter as an Israeli. You need you need to be in this in this position. All all the question, if I say where I come from, it's normally coming to the political issue and about the conflict. And I'm trying all uh, I trying to be myself as an artist, not to be as as a fighter. Uh, metal, it's it's known, it's a heavy material. I did it like a, like a sh uh, like a shoes. You cannot really walk, uh, and nobody have a key. But in my in my in my, in my experience, after I left to Europe, I, I feel uh, actually I can get out of. Of, of this exhibition. It's like this shoes, it's like you cannot walk in it and you cannot do anything with it, but you always have a possibility to take your foes out. We find ourselves working in our houses, our bedrooms, our kitchen, our beds. You're not even free in your own country to find a space to work and you want to also to diffuse your work all over the world. You have to prove that you are rich and you are important. I don't need your space. I don't need your visa. I would like just to work with some artists in one meter, one square meter. And I can do just take this table and you work in it. Yeah, she was playing with the photos a little bit, like just reviewing what happened this year. But in the process of the rehearsal, we understood just it's like it happened a lot in the year, just we ignore, just it comes and then go, the other one comes and go. After a while, we forget like what happened. How much risk are you taking to show your work? When you dance, it's, it's not really separate of your body. Then the body has some experience. Um, you are dancing your experience. Like um, it is political. You can't be unpolitically on the stage. My father and my mother are Muslims. So I decided to work on this, uh, on this uh, topic, which is uh, wh what is the trace that a religious education can leave on uh, on human body? For me, uh, I don't believe in, 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 in the idea of me and my body. I don't have a body. I am a body. The red, uh, as you can see, is... Uh, after painting, he, like a person, goes in a, in a trance movement in a very hard and not aggressive, but really uh, poetic trance. I'm trying to convince him that maybe we should go further and think uh, more openly. And he's painting me and I'm trying to, to clean him. So I, I, I just that don't because I can't. The education is like this. Is I have something in me which is still Muslim. The message always reaches its destination. For me, that this is fascinating because. Uh, it's no matter what the address you write, it's no matter what you want, where the letter arrives, this is the destination. <laughs> This is like uh, the life after when you die and somebody, yeah, your soul is entered to uh, another body. It's a circle, they call it circle of uh, 
resurrection or it represents this immortality yeah but now mm. it's more like art or folklore in syria they used to believe in this <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. 